Hello everybody, it's Tom and Jerry Fan 64 here. It's now time to do another movie review. I'm going to be doing a movie review to the movie Coraline, which is directed by Henry Selleck. And before I um, review Coraline, I do have an announcement. I'm I might be I'm hoping I'm going to hoping to see the new Mario movie today if I get the chance or sometime this week in the theaters, but we'll see. So yeah, I really enjoyed the movie Coraline. This is a really, really great movie. I, I did watch bits and pieces of this movie when I was at... Back when I lived with my mom, I watched it in her car, and it was pretty good, but I haven't seen it since. But I finally watched the entire thing of this movie. This is definitely my second favorite Henry Selleck movie that he directed. I don't like this movie as much as um, the movie The Nightmare Before Christmas. I think The Nightmare Before Christmas is better than this movie. But I still enjoyed Coraline. I think this I do like Coraline a lot more than James and the Giant Peach. You know, don't get me wrong, I love James and the Giant Peach, but I think Coraline is better. This movie I don't think should be for kids, to be honest. It's a really creepy movie. I do hope to get this movie on DVD. I know they released a 4K steelbook late last year. I do hope to get this movie on either DVD or Blu-ray. I'm probably probably gonna get it on DVD. This movie was really, really awesome. It's definitely a creepy movie. It might be, it's a little bit too creepy for kids to me. But this is still a really great movie. Probably my favorite movie produced by the company Leica. Yeah, I just... I really enjoyed the movie Coraline. It's definitely a creepy movie. And this movie is a 2009 movie starring Dakota... The voice talents of Dakota Fanning, Terry Hatcher, Jennifer Saunders, Don French, and Ian McShane. And it's... It's pretty, and Henry Selleck is one of the executive producers, and he also wrote the movie. And, and the movie Coraline is based on the book by Neil Gaiman. I, if I'm not mistaken, I think Coraline was the first ever Leica animated movie. I don't know if it was or not, but we'll. I might have to. Guys, comment down below if is this the first Leica animated movie from Leica, the studio Leica? I don't. I could be wrong. I think it's either this or nine. I really enjoyed this movie. This movie I really enjoyed. So yeah, I'm going to give the movie Coraline a 10 out of 10 stars and an A+. Really, really great movie. So yeah, that is it for my review to the movie Coraline, in which I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you're generous enough, please consider leaving a like on this video and subscribe. Plus, it really helps out. And I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye, everybody. Adios. Have a good day. Peace out.